Hey. You alive? Yeah, they're alive. They're just not moving. So here we are for another round of Subnautica Below Zero with the water level rising. We are currently at 80 meters, additional water above our heads. Let's go ahead and put 10 minutes on the clock and see what can happen today. I am honestly where I don't remember even what my plan was at the end of the last round. I just know I'm going to grab supplies and keep moving. I know what it was. I was going to try to find some more titanium in order to make some of the uh, storage upgrades like what we used to have in the original game that go on the side because I'm using the mod that provides those. So I'm going to grab some salvage. Just conveniently located. I'm also close to some more lithium when I need it. Pop both of these in. Need to be one and two so I can access them. And there we go. Empty storage. Empty storage. And just toss all that stuff in. There we go. I should be able to get around without too much trouble. Oh, and that would have been you know, useful just a moment ago. I did this last time where I did not need the laser cutter to get around. It's a bit of a pain uh, in cases, but I did it without laser cutter. So I should be able to do it again. Nice laser cutter fragment. Uh, good thing I did not need it because I wouldn't be able to get in here anyway. <laughs> and I can't get that because I don't have a laser cutter. That's fine. I know where I can get all the ones I need anyway. So that's not really necessary. Like scanning this one that I don't actually need to cut out. Yes. Plenty of food and water. Go ahead, do food, water. Uh, go ahead, take that. So I always have at least some on hand. And before the timer runs out, let's get over here to uh, copper mining site and make sure I stay high enough. That is not going to be a problem when the timer cuts in a moment. And there's the timer. All right, here we go. 90 meters, extra water depth to the game. 10 minutes on clock starting right now. Being unable to actually park my sea truck so close is going to be a little bit of a hindrance. Not too bad. I never really like trying to maneuver the sea truck inside anyway because it's so hard to wiggle it in and then wiggle it right back out. So I just got a free dive with the sea glide. Definitely unlocking the thermal plant since my solar power is going to become less effective over time. Hurry up and unlock the drill arm for the prawn suit, hopefully. And there we go. Three out of four because I did get the ones at outpost zero. Always helpful to get those early off. If you can. You cannot cut, but laser cutter fragment number three. Now I will be able to cut. Headlamp, which I am not really a fan of. Should have been done as an add-on, like a add-on slot to your suit, not its own thing. There we go. Sea truck. Drill arm. Gotta find one more. I want to make use of that. Much more preferable to use the sea truck. Uh, Alan, I don't want to talk to you right now. Sorry. Uh, just not going to happen. Sea truck drill arm. Yes. That's what I'm talking about right there. It's going to make things a little easier. Boom. I go get some resources. And there goes the timer. All right. 100 meters. More water level than normal in the game. 10 minutes on the clock. Let's go. Go. And I know from a visual standpoint, it's like, oh, your number on the depth increase. That's pretty much it at this point. Because I'm not where I'm seeing stuff suddenly become uncovered that's normally covered in water. It's it's just there's more water above me. The, the difference is when I go up to go into like the glacial basin, the Arctic spires now, that's when it's going to be the most noticeable because they're going to be underwater. Probably completely underwater at this point or you know the fact that i'm here at delta island and i'm uh I'm driving around it with the sea truck because it's completely submerged at this point 
I know like 70 meters was almost completely underwater. And we're at 100 now. Let's just take a look. There's the tower the antenna. Oh, wow. Just, just enough at 100 meters to cover up the tower. I need enamel glass, two of them. So I need two lead and I'm already off to a good start. I got lead right away. Finally, depth upgrade mark one. Which actually will need the depth upgrades this time around much more so than when the water level is getting lower and i gotta do it we'll go ahead and do a speed upgrade mark one so i can go faster scans that i don't need but will give me supplies and there we go there's the timer 110 meters extra water 10 minutes on the clock starting now and i need to find my way now to outpost omega Omega base because I want to get some more food and water primarily water before uh, I try a deep dive I want to go ahead and get Ruby so I'll have that and then all I got to do is set up a small uh, temporary base just so I can get a modification station going because I will need that for some upgrades uh, yeah this depth is gonna make things a little trickier I don't think I could actually get all the way down to the base now uh, cause, well, maybe I can. It's gonna be close. I started to get a warning already when I was trying to go to the, one of the other cave entrances. And, oh no, it's, yeah, it's past the depth I can get to already. Swim charge fans, I definitely think I want to have some of those going too. That would be, uh, quite useful. I can, you know, have a little bit of this. A little bit. It's not a lot of water, but it's a little bit of water. Hey, a nuclear reactor that may be a necessity in terms of power for when I get a little bit Warning. even deeper in the uh, water. Another dismiss. Alan will eventually get the clue. I don't want to talk to him. Okay, that's a good spot there. I, it should be okay here, uh, especially after I do some repairs real quick. I might be okay from here. Yes, let's go. I'm going to try and get some ruby real quick. Maybe nickel. All right, so that's about uh, a little over a fourth of my oxygen to get down here right now. So I just got to make sure I leave before I have only a fourth of O2 left. But first, nickel! Oh, ho, 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 that was so close. Oh, that was close. But I got supplies. I That was down to the wire. And unfortunately, I have four ruby total. I need three. I never did get any uh, spiral plant clipping. So let's go grab some of those. Once I get turned the right way. Scanner module fragment should be number three. And since I actually will be staying in water the whole time, it might be worth it. Go ahead and try to get that built. Now, next step is I got to go build a base, some solar power real quick. There's the timer. There we go. 120 meters more water level, 10 minutes on the clock starting now. I remember seeing these earlier. I should have got a clipping then. I didn't. I'll go ahead and grab from these right now. They're at the back side, the southern side of Delta Island, where I really should be above water level here, but I'm not. Hey, you alive? Yeah, they're alive. They're just not moving. Uh, you know, let's try something different. Cause I only need a temporary base. Uh, let's do a base platform up here you know i'm gonna turn on the full override i was gonna build right above the radio tower the antenna because that should be good enough and I, i'm gonna have to keep the full override on the whole time oh, or not okay that works the hatch did not want does not want to work what, is it attached to the target? No, that's not doing it. All right, so I can't 
place down my hatch. That's not right. Fine, I'll just build it over here. It's only 50 meters down anyway. And I think, yep, 50 meters. It's, it's not gonna be super quick for this to lose this utility uh, as the water increases. So I'm thinking I'm going to put a couple of solar panels here. Power restored. All primary and let's see if online. I can get, that's, that's close enough. I should be able to use the easy craft with that. Let's get the modification station going because that's what I really need. And we'll go ahead and get like a battery charger going because I can charge up my batteries while I'm out and about. And of course, I need lead again. Why would I not need some lead? I mean, it's not like I, you know, it's so super plentiful. Oh, sea truck fragment and a piece of lead right away. Ah, uh, you know what I forgot to get? That would help. I forgot to get the cotton anemones because that would give me hydrochloric acid, then the polyaniline, and from there I would have swim charge fins. I don't get those because I didn't think to grab that. Okay, now I have a problem. Uh, it's doing that same thing again. I tried to take my upgrade out and it didn't act like it took it out and then I take it out and suddenly it's, you know, gone. It's disappeared. Uh, but it still says I had 300 for my depth. Uh, so I, yeah, there's a problem here. I can't see my upgrade to take it out. Uh, fortunately, it's about to be time to stop <laughs> and drop another 10 meters of water on top of this map with the timer going right now. Okay, 130 meters, more water, 10 minutes on the clock, let's go. And my depth upgrade is gone. It's not installed anymore and it is gone. So I just had a depth upgrade taken away. Okay, spawned in a replacement for the missing upgrade. And now before I do anything else with it, it is time to find out. It still won't let me upgrade. Well, why can't I not upgrade? I got the stuff. Look, it's right there. It's an enamel glass. What, what am I missing on the synthetic fibers? The only thing missing was spiral plant clippings because it cannot see or easy craft cannot see into those storage upgrades. Now, I'm going to put it there just because I don't want to risk losing it again if something like that happens. So there, 650 meters, crush depth. Let's see how my, oh, well, one battery is fully charged. That's a good trade right there. Let that go. Now I have enough. I can make it back down into the uh, deep lily pads. And it should be easy enough to get back here. Cause all I gotta do is aim for Delta Dock. Even with the upgrade, the best I'm getting is to basically come into just this little area. And it's not like I can keep going that much further to justify it, taking the risk. And even if I did go a good bit further, what happens when the timer's up? 10 more meters puts me at a uh, much more restricted level. I've got just over three minutes to make it. And I think I can from here. I'm gonna grab the diamond because I know I'll need diamond. So I know I need diamond for laser cutter because I keep using my diamond for other stuff before making a laser cutter. All right, let's get this knocked out. <laughs> I think the mod made it kind of try to figure, does it need to have water here or not? Cause it seemed like it was <laughs> wanting to keep me going in the water for a little longer than it should have. Now, done, heading back up before, let's see which, make sure I'm facing the right way. I'm going out the right way. Cause the timer's about to stop, time to go back up. Not gonna hurt me anyway, but yeah, let's get out of here. Let me see if I can find maybe scans for the ultra high capacity tank while I'm in the area. And there goes the timer. 
140 meters, extra water, 10 minutes on the clock. Let's go. So not what I was looking for, but it's the big compartment of the Mercury 2. Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll go ahead and take care of this while I'm here. I'll get some more food and water supplies, which is good. And, uh, oh yeah, <laughs> let's see if I actually can make the laser cutter now. I can't because I am missing silicone rubber. So not cutting anything open. Get the reinforced dive suit since I pretty much will not need the uh, cold suit at all in this run. To scan this, super easy. And then through the air duct. Sure, alien containment, why not? And up we go, topmost area into the bridge. Get that, get my scan. There we go. Parallel processing unit. New blueprint synthesized. Cleared. Yes, food and water. Uh, very useful in this case. I wonder how Marguerite is handling the increased depth. Is her base flooding because she wasn't prepared for this? That'd be kind of an interesting effect if it actually adjusted to the change in depth and broke to where I got there and she's just drowning because she didn't reinforce her base. That would, I think would be funny. Is it, is it, is it number three? Awesome. That was a lot easier this time around. That's, oh, wait, wait, wait. okay. I left you behind. I'm sorry. I didn't mean just drive away from you while you were trying to hand me something. All right, time to get out of here. Head back to the base because all I need is the modification station at this point. I've got all the lithium. And there's the timer. 150 meters, more water than normal. 10 minutes on the clock starting now. Ultra high capacity tank. That's what I'm talking about. I like that. Okay, uh, time to swap out some more batteries since I actually can charge batteries this time around. And all I'm missing now is Kayanat for the depth upgrade mark three. Uh, I feel like it's a good time to see what I can do to make a visit to Marguerite. Okay, here we go into the caves or fissure, as it says below. You know, this might be a good spot to actually just go ahead and build like another base. Nothing over the top, just something that uses the vents here and puts me close to my, my home girl, Marguerite, you know? Oh yeah, this depth is fine. It won't be a problem. Yeah, she did. I just wanted to see you, buddy. We're pals, remember? Oh, you're... There's your, uh, you know, you're going C now. You forgot that we're besties from back home. And now I'm tying myself up with the animation. There it goes. Ah. And her base is fine. Did not affect her base. Just, it didn't affect the architect locations, but I thought maybe there might be a problem. You know, again, there's more. She might not be prepared for this amount of water, Bubber. You know, it should be breaking the base. And because of that, I am going to run out of time. I should have just gone straight down to get some Kaya Nut. But you know what? It's not a problem. I am. Here we are, last few seconds. That's 150 meters lower than normal. And I mean, after the next time, it'll put me 160. There's the timer. So this is, is not as noticeable of a difference because you're not seeing it constantly change the terrain but it is still making a difference in how I have to play the game. And so right now, you know, it looks kind of normal. I uh, got those, you got the Delta Island. There's all this, there's my little base, but you keep going, boom, there's the water level. That is how high it is. It is completely covering everything on Delta Island. It's all the way out to that mountain, everything else is completely covered in water now. 
which means anywhere there's not an invisible wall configuration, uh, I should be able to drive. Before, the mod gave a boost to the prawn suit, so I was jumping my way across this area uh, in the prawn suit. Now, I, I just drive the sea truck. Transport is definitely much easier. The fact that the depth is getting worse and worse, a little bit of a hindrance. If I was not using the mod to boost with a Mark IV and a Mark V depth module for the sea truck, I would probably be in trouble.